Imagine you are exploring a cave and then you hear a noise. You quickly turn around just to be met with a pair of white glowing eyes and a shadowy figure. There is something stalking you. You try to approach it but it vanishes. You may be thinking that I'm talking about Herobrine, however, this is the description of an official mob that was planned to be added to the game, but was later removed. This mob that not many people know of would have been able to produce terrifying hallucinations. These are not my words, these are the words of the same developer who made the warden. If you were like in the caves you would see these glowing eyes looking at you and then you walk towards it and it just vanishes. And sounds of mobs directly behind you. You look around and it's not there. It was a bit too evil, very much focused on visual and auditory hallucinations. The name of this creature is Shade, and I am Josh, and today we will learn more about it and I will attempt to recreate it, following the description of the developer to put it back into the game. The Shade was a mob that began being developed for the Caves and Cliffs update to add more horror and spooky ambience to the caves, and as a way to explain the source of the cave noises we all know and love. Maybe even tying it in with the cave noises that you hear? The Shade has some special abilities that make it stand out from even the most popular modded mobs out there. On this interview with King B Dogs, done by the Minecraft Ideas Academy channel, he also mentions that this mob would have been able to create hallucinations, mimicking the sounds of other mobs to confuse players and make them feel paranoid. And he also briefly describes how it was supposed to look like. A transparent humanoid, sort of like the end of a dark, transparent mob would have glowing eyes. This mob really does sound terrifying. Sadly, it was removed because back then the idea was to add a blind mob, and the shade was not that, so the warden took its place instead. And then I stumbled upon this concept art, and I will be honest, most of these look kinda silly, but this one caught my attention because it looks the creepiest and it matches the developer's descriptions the best. And I guess it goes without saying, but my main sources of inspiration for this are the popular Cave Dweller mod by Gargan, which became very popular and sparked the interest in seeing more horror in Minecraft, which I'm a big fan of. So I began by creating a very simple humanoid figure, similar to the player. Then I stretch its arms until they reach the ground and I stretch its legs to make it look like an enderman. I was pretty happy with the overall shape so I jumped right into texturing. According to concept art, the shade is very dark blue and purple. So I painted the bottom half bright and the top half dark. That should help the white eyes stand out in the darkness, making it look a little bit more creepy. It seems like it's wearing some kind of torn robe, so that's what I made next. Then I added some extra detail and I began to paint the eyes. At first the eyes were too similar to an enderman, so I made them pure white to match the description better. And I gave it tears just because the face was too empty. Now it's time to make it semi-transparent like the developer said. Cool. Looking very scary and ugly in my opinion. He also looks a little bit like me, doesn't he? Do, do I look like that? I mean, actually don't respond to that. Looking back at the concept art, it seems like the shade had some sort of big mouth on its stomach, so that's what I added next. I also added a couple rows of teeth that stick out of the mouth, and I can animate them moving later on. It's coming great so far, but now it's time to do scary stuff. One of the things me and a lot of Minecraft players have always felt is that eerie sense that something or someone is observing us, and since this mob is all about stalking the player, I decided to make it be able to peek from behind blocks to observe you. Here's how it works. Every time you hear a cave noise, the shade has a chance to randomly appear somewhere in the cave around you, stalking you. And when you look at it, it hides quickly. I feel like this really makes the mob feel different and almost intelligent, like as if it didn't want to be seen by you. You never see a mob wrecked this way, so this should catch anyone off guard. The intent of this is to create a sense of paranoia, because the caves are so dark and spacious. Whenever you hear the sound, the shade may or may not be close. You will never know, unless you're very quick and you take a glimpse at it. And the moment the shade wants to be seen, it will just appear in the distance, standing still. And just like the developer said, he also fades away the closer you get to it. Now back to the concept art, I noticed something very interesting right here. If you look very closely on these tiny letters, I think it says subscribe to Joshua Blue Moon. Oh wow, I can't believe Mojang actually included this. But I'm gonna pretend that it says transforms into this. So this thing apparently could transform into a four-legged creature. This form is supposed to be when the mob goes into its attack mode, but how am I gonna do that? And I read here that the, one of the reasons why this mechanic was removed is because it looked silly and not scary, but I will prove Mojang wrong and oh. Um, it actually does look kinda silly. So to not make it look goofy, I decided that the mob will give you darkness, so that you don't see it transforming. I guess it will also be scarier because now you can't see this thing coming towards you. And now that all that is done, it's time for the hallucinations. I will say that these turned out to be quite terrifying. Here's how this is gonna work. The more time you spend in the darkness, the higher the chances of the shade showing up. At first it will just stalk you from afar, and as time goes by you may start to hear mobs that aren't there. Oh, freaking god. 
You may even see fake mobs like this creeper for example, or this skeleton with stretched limbs and deformed body. You cannot kill them, all you can do is hide from them. You may see strange things too, the shade may also summon shadows to hunt you down and launch towards you in a sudden attack. The more afraid you are, the more aggressive it becomes. Here you can see the shade luring you into a cave. In here, the shade has cornered me, and it pulled its own head off, which gains life of its own, and starts flying towards you. These are all hallucinations, but it may come to a point that the shade decides that enough is enough, and it transforms, chasing you down the mines. But if you thought Minecraft horror ended here, then I'd suggest you to watch this video, where I create three monsters and terrify my friend with. I'll see you next time, bye bye.